Hello and welcome back to some Indiana Jones today. We dealt with Stern Hurt and Costa last time. Took a while. <laughs> um, yeah, so far I'm, I'm kind of committed to not looking things up for this one. I think it's possible, so we'll see how that goes. I'm trying really hard, but that does mean that it took a while for me to figure out that last one. And then, um, yeah, they've kind of dropped us in New York. Um, Sophia is out on her own somewhere doing her own thing. And oh, this, yep. Yep, this is all familiar. The tipped over bookcase. <laughs> I and believe it's part of the old ward collection. I'm... Oh, screw. It's screwed in too tight. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to pick up the bookcase. But it seems like it's trying to get us to pick up that screw, which would be great if I had a screwdriver. No, I just have mayonnaise. Okay. The fine example of braided hemp. Use the rope. Nice. Okay, I wonder if I can find a screwdriver upstairs and then kind of go between these two levels, so to say. Nice. All right, so we got the rope still. Totem pole. I don't remember from the Marcus intro. thought potlatch Indians carved this. Oh no, it's like I, a movie prop I do to me. I do remember the totem. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. Pick off the arrowhead. Good to have a sharp thing. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Good to have a sharp thing. I'm just kind of checking if anything else is on the shelves. Um, big crate. The label says unidentified pot shirts. Open. Doesn't seem to open. Oh, I can't open the pot shirts crate. Is there anything else up here? I mean, I could maybe. I'll try to use the arrowhead to get the screw. Right now, it seems to be that these are the only two levels that I have. Ouch! The screw came out, but that hurt. All right, now I can pick up the screw. Where is it? Oh, I need to unscrew everything. I can't unless I find a way to protect my hands. Oh, um, use... It's a greasy old towel. Okay. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, now I've wrapped it in a thing. It's unscrewed. Do it again. It's unscrewed. This is delightfully repetitive. It's unscrewed. Also, yeah, this is definitely a misuse of it's unscrewed artifacts, but I guess arrowheads are common enough. Um, I can't pick that up. Push it. I can't move it. I can't move it. There's nothing of importance here. Then why did I do all of that? I believe it's part of the old ward collection. What just... what just happened? It doesn't seem to close. <laughs> it's already open. I don't think that'll work. What? <laughs> do I burn it down? Like, what's happening? It's empty. That'll just make a mess. Is the whip? I don't think that'll work. I don't know what I'm doing. While I was digging up Viking gravesites, she was secretly collecting pieces from Atlantis. Why did I do all of that? I believe it's part of the old ward collection. Great. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. Oh, can I use... I can't move it. Oh, oh, there it is. There is a sticky wad of gum under here. Pick up the gum. Sure is gooey. Sure is gooey. He's out of the bookcase. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Cool. Um, let me look at the books again. See if it will give me any more information. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. I think I've read them all. I'm also going to kind of check these and see if there's anything kind of else on the shelves. There's nothing of importance here. Not... When, did... when did I open that? So I, I basically, I took the back off of the bookcase. It's already open. I can't move it. I can't move it. I can't move it. Let's go upstairs again. Because <laughs> this fascinates me. So we're here to find the spray collection. Sprague. Sprague? Sprague? 
um, that collection. Slightly afraid, but still strong. No, I don't want to go in it. Okay. Um, and then the loss something something Atlantis Plato um, <laughs> will be a fine example of braided hemp. Will be a part of that collection, and then we can use that, I assume, to get our next bit of information. So I think that's the plan. But as soon as I had the plan last time, I wasn't really wasn't really the plan. <laughs> Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix collection. Is there anything else? This big crate can't be nothing. I don't think that'll work. Well, that doesn't seem to work. That'll just make a mess. Let's just start clicking things. I don't think that'll work. Aha! I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. Pick it up. I can't pick that up. Open it. <laughs> it's locked. Unlock. Okay. We need to find a key. Hmm. I can't move it. Okay, so the crate was the thing. Now I need to find a key. And I feel like the key has to do with this opened up bookcase. <laughs> Not the gum. Mayonnaise. Now I'm just saying things. Could I pick the lock with an arrowhead? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I've done the classic try everything with everything. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring of the area. Do I need to incinerate anything yet? And it is interesting that I can specifically interact with the coal chute. So I wonder... I, I, I have a feeling that that's gonna come up. Um, but I also have a feeling that it's not now. Oh, we can talk to her. Uh, well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard, okay? I feel like some things have changed since the last time I was here. Or maybe I just didn't see the um, arrowhead on the shelf before. Oh no, I didn't have access to the shelf before. So this probably didn't change. This whole area. Unless there's anything new on the desk that like Sophia might have done. Let me talk to uh, Sophia. Well, don't just stand there. Okay. Go I'll go. It's an old lecture hall desk, but I've got the gum. He's really proud of that. Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm doing this for about, I don't, know, I don't want to say five minutes, but like, it's not far from five minutes. I've been upstairs, I've been downstairs, I've been trying things on things, I've been trying things with each other. I'm looking for other things to use. Um... I don't need them, they're just textbooks. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a thing. Keep trying. Keep looking. Keep trying. It's too slippery to walk up. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for Nice. Traction. Okay. Okay. What do you know? The gum works. Nice. Okay. I I'm shocked that worked. I was in the midst of just trying stupid things. Worked. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Ah, the old Dunlop collection. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Say it four times for me. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. You'd love to hear it. I believe it's part of the old Ward collection. I... I can't move it. I don't think that'll work. These aren't the books I'm looking for. I can't move it. It doesn't seem to open. Alright, just making sure I couldn't, like, sort through those. Um, inside of bookshelf. Oh, it's open now. That's I'm under the bookshelf. I'm not getting out that way. Um. I'm not getting out that way. Look at inside of bookshelf. I'm not getting out that way. Um, use the whip with the. I don't think that'll inside work. Inside of the bookshelf. 
Interesting. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. So now I can access that from both sides. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. This is interesting. <laughs> I got the furnace down there. I got this whole this bookshelf and this book. Oh, drawers. Seems to be locked. I don't see anything special about it. Seems to be locked. Hmm. They're drawers. <laughs> They're drawers. That one opened, though. Pick up? I can't pick that up. Is there anything in it? This is the other one that wasn't locked. Seems to be locked. This? Seems to be locked. Okay. Are they different top and bottom? Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. I don't see anything. I don't see anything special. Okay, these about are the ones that seems to be locked. Okay. Seems to be locked. Hmm. I don't think that'll work. Is there something I should put in the drawers? I don't think that'll work. Can I look at the They're drawers. You're killing me, Indy. You're killing me. <laughs> Wait, what? I can't pick that up. Okay, so I just I just have an open drawer. I just that's all I have. Alright, there's no other pixel in here that's doing anything. Let me close it again. Can I open the one on the bottom? No. Well, this room was stupid. <laughs> Can I pick up one of the cats? Maybe there's something under one of the cats. It's much too heavy to carry. Push it. I can't move it. I can't move it. It doesn't seem to open. Okay. Nothing else. Oh, there's a book. It's a book ready to fall. Use the whip on... I don't think that'll work. Push... I can't move it. Book? I can't move it. It's a book ready to fall. Why can't I use the whip? I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. I don't think that'll work. I can't reach it. Bless him for trying. Is there anything I can like if I open that drawer? They're drawers. Yeah. I don't think that'll work. <sighs> like I could stand on it. I don't know. Pull the shelves out. I can't move it. Another cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Why do you say it looks odd? Should I use something on it? That'll just make a mess. I don't think that'll work. Why do you have a whip, Indy, if it's not going to work with anything? <laughs> I can't use it to whip a book. Then what are we doing here? I need to get him something to stand on, and I'm thinking about, like, um... Stacking up these books somehow to stand on them and, like, using the gum to, like, get the books stacked. I don't think that'll work. I'm gonna take a lot of gum. But you know what? It's a point and click. <laughs> Let's go back to the bookshelf from the other side. See what happens. I've already used everything. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. It doesn't seem to close. I can't move it. I've already done all of this. I don't think this. that'll work. I don't know. It's already open. I don't know. I don't think that'll work. I think I'll stick this up. It's weird that you have to do the gum again. Okay. What are we doing? <laughs> that didn't do anything. I don't think that'll work. I'm back to combining things that I know that, that I've already to tried work. to combine before. That'll just make a mess. Because you know what? You never know. That didn't do anything. I, just, I don't think that'll work. I want to throw the book at work. the other book. Like, there's a million ways that, like... An actual human being would be able to figure this out. Miscellaneous antique vases. Well, why can I open this drawer? 
Miscellaneous antique vases. Use whip. That's my whip. Yeah, I know. I don't think that'll work. We're gonna use things with the open drawer. I don't think that'll work. And none of it's that'll gonna work. That'll just make a mess. We're gonna do it. That doesn't seem to work. That didn't do anything. I don't think that'll work. Mm, Andy. I just took a quick break and made myself iced coffee. And while I was gone for like five minutes, Indy was just sitting here staring at this hole. <laughs> Which I feel is appropriate to actually kind of what I've been doing for the past like five, ten minutes of trying to figure this out. Hmm. This drawer is really, really messing with my head. Like really, really messing with it. Okay, I can't give the books to the drawer. Very nice. He said this one looked odd. Did he? Does he say that about the other ones? He said that third one. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Another cat idol. Yeah, this is the only one that has um. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. I believe it's part of. The yeah, so this is the only one that has like the interesting um dialogue option, but I can't push, pull, give, use. I'll use a bunch of stuff. I don't think that. Think that'll work. I don't even know if I even tried use. I don't think that'll work. I think work. I did. It's made out of wax. Oh, <gasps> have I not tried to pick that one? Mm, okay, made out of wax. Let's put it in the furnace. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. All right, let's. This is gonna be stupid. Or I can probably use it to like make a. Well, it melted. Is that a bad thing? It's very hot. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for yes, traction. I, know. Um, I, I I worry that I have messed up. I believe it's part of the. I believe it's much too heavy to carry. So one of them was wax and it melted, and now I don't have it anymore because I melted it. So. That was stupid. That was quite stupid. It's hot. Nothing in the furnace. <laughs> Can't get it back. I might load. I don't think that did anything, and I feel like I should load. <laughs> Be right back. Oh, we have an autosave right here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, autosave. You're the only scum VM game, Indiana it's Jones. Made out of wax. Because I was a cat idol, but unlike the others, it's made of wax. I was totally ready to um load all the way back to the beginning of this like video and just redo all the stuff of like getting these things and redo really opening all of the freaking screws. Okay. Um. Well, that doesn't seem to work. I'm just gonna check some things. That didn't do anything. All right, so my next thought, and besides just dropping the cat in the furnace and watching it disappear, is to use the chest to like, I don't know, get a copy of the. I just want to see what he says with some of these things. You know, oh, it's just it's not gonna do anything. I don't think that'll yeah, work. No. You gotta check though, because you never know. That could have been the thing. Could have been the thing. That didn't work. I can't move it. Okay, so that didn't do anything. I'm not too surprised, but I was hoping he might have like some dialogue like, this isn't for the lock, it's for the key. So I can melt it. That didn't do anything. Keep trying to use it with things work. just to double check. I don't think that'll work. That'll just make a mess. That doesn't seem to work. I don't think that'll work. It will not. Good call. Okay, I'm gonna go back to where I was then. This is Trixie. This is Trixie. I don't think that'll work. Can you just throw the cat at the book. Just throw the cat at the book. I mean, it, I did something. I put the wax in the furnace, 
and it let me. Like it did the, it did the thing. So I don't know. Maybe Sophia wants a wax cat. Uh. Well, don't just go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that'll work. I put the mayonnaise back in the icebox. I ice don't box. think that'll work. Okay. Here's a cartouche from the Well of Soul. Thank you. Alright, I wanted to close the icebox. And maybe... No, I can't give things to Sophia. Oh, that was fun. There's really nothing else in here. Nothing else in here. Shame. I better call a glazier. It's shame. Why does the drawer open? I don't think that'll work. What is happening? Ah, uh, Indy, you're killing me. I can't move it. Also, this goes without saying because the entire rest of the universe is dealing with this right now, but um, I'm too warm. <laughs> I am most certainly currently too warm. That didn't do anything. I don't think that'll work. <gasps> what just happened? Marcus thought potlatch Indians could. Why did I just put like the mayonnaise in the totem to pole? That'll just make a mess. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Well, now what do I do? That didn't do anything. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. I was fully in the use everything with everything mode, which is fair. Um, I can't push it any further. Because I never would have. So we would... <gasps> oh. Keep pulling that. I can't pull it any further. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie. Doesn't seem to open. Doesn't seem to close. Can I just go here now? Like, what's. Was that blocking something? Looks like textiles from the Shamut collection. This is so bizarre. He's gonna say the same line Marcus again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I've moved the big crate. I've moved the totem pole. He's now under. It's a hole leading to the attic. Oh, so can I walk um up the? Yes, I can walk up the totem pole. I didn't see the hole there. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Now or somewhere. It's a stone carving of Shiva. And this is where the game started, so this should be it's some kind of funeral urn. Um, the last location I can access. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. Oh, look at that. Um, I wanted to pick it up. I don't want to disturb it any more than necessary. Push it. <laughs> I can't move it. <laughs> Open it. Look. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Pick up ashes? Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? Great. I don't think that'll work. I just wanted to check. So I have the key, so I can open that chest now. Of an Egyptian I'm still going to... Oh, there's a chest there, too. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. I can't lift the lid. Okay, interesting. I'm not going to bother... Oh, candlestick. It's a genuine candlestick. Pick up the genuine candlestick. It must be made out of lead. Yes. There. Oh, now we can open the chest. It doesn't seem to open. No. No, open the chest. Look at the chest. It's full of air. <laughs> okay. It's a genuine candlestick. Pick up. Oh, I picked it up to move it. Um, I didn't pick it up to take it. I think it's fine right where it is. So I have a chest full of air. I don't think that'll work. I mean, I don't think that it's, it's possible that this mess. is just nothing. Well, that doesn't seem to work. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. I can't pick that up. So let's go to that. Yeah, I didn't have any of the verbs in the beginning, um, so I couldn't do really any of this. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Poor stupid Marcus. <laughs> okay, so this chest is worth noting, I think. This empty chest up here is worth noting. 
Um, but I am more curious to use the dusty key with the dusty old There's a manuscript chest. inside. The lost dialogue of Plato. Great. Did it. Done. Happy. The Hermocrates. Now at least I have Plato's lost dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and always thought was a hoax. Now I wonder, can this remarkable book hold the secret to long lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's certain. The fear of ridicule is too great. To be safe, I sent a copy to Sprague. What's her in heart? London. Um, can I, like, read it? I don't know what I'm... Okay, cool. I have what I have. I have what I need. We're good to go. The, uh... The bookcase was misdirect. <laughs> I don't know. I still don't know. I still don't know what's going on there. I look so red today. <laughs> Back to Sophia. Mission accomplished. I have no idea how long I've been playing since I've just been cutting so much stuff out. So I'll keep going for a while more. I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. All right. Uh, I I is it obvious indeed? Uh, Plato's tenfold numbering error. Plato mentions colonies and outposts. We'll find them. Sternhardt probably could have told us a lot. It's true. I kind of want to say that one because I feel like it's indie being cheeky. Is it obvious? No, it's much too vague. Our only hope is supernatural inspiration. Ah, yes. You mean your old pal, Nurab Sal? If I can make contact, yes. Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer's in the book, not outer space. So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Peter's error means distances could also be wrong. Am I supposed to have read more of this book? I cannot figure out how to turn the pages of this book. I may not find Atlantis in the Atlantic at all. Maybe the colony names will turn up. Maybe out. the colony names will turn up. They better. I doubt Nurab Sal will recognize our modern names. Ah, oh, yes. Let's concentrate on the tenfold. I really, I'm missing something. Okay. I know I'm missing something with this book. If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. Okay. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? <sighs> yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. Could be. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good old Nurab Sal. <laughs> Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. <laughs> right, don't don't push us too far, girl. So, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? I just like Mr. Sal. Be patient, he's lost. Okay. But I think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. The guide I didn't or map it. stones or something? I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Let's go to Algiers. Why should he help us? Or was it Alain Cartier in Monte Carlo? Let's go to Monte Carlo. Way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones if you want to find Atlantis. I'm ready to go. How will I find them? I, I'm sure the game will take me directly to them. Oh, no, you're staying here. Just... All right, I'm ready to go. Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell you a fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. Always eager to solve life's deepest puzzles. I love a puzzle. I could never follow the thoughts of your maze-like mind. 
so I can't follow you along the twisting path that leads to Atlantis. All right, so this, uh, I've been told in the comments, is where the branch happens, so I will do a quick cheeky um, save just in case I want to come back to this game and play from here. All right, you're right, I better think this through alone. I'd rather tackle this together with you. Or, so the two of them say I want to be by myself, one of them with her. Or they're going to act by myself. I don't know if this is the branch. I'd rather go into action by myself. Are you absolutely sure? Yep, this is the branch. Uh, let's go through this again. Nurab Sal is trying to guide you. Okay. He admires your ingenuity. Okay. I feel like I want to, um, for, I, she, she's helpful, but a little annoying. So I'll probably do one of the two solo ones. Um, I'm definitely overthinking this. Um, so one is action, one is thinking. I'm torn, but I'm really torn. This action sounds more fun and stupid and silly, but thinking sounds like it's gonna get some weird bonkers puzzles. You know, let's go for weird bonkers right. puzzles. I better think this through alone. I understand. Stay in touch. Take care of yourself and don't talk to strange Nazis. Take care of yourself. And don't I don't talk know. To I don't know what's Nazis. happening. I don't know. So what's long, happening. Indy. Where are we going? What's happening? Okay, we got Monte Carlo and Algiers, and our former destinations are off the map. Don't even think about them, Indy. Okay, um, Algiers sounds nice. I wanted my cursor to be perfect. So we're going to the Mediterranean, though, which is nice. Ayo. Oh, and they've um, taken some items from me. That's good. That keeps it simple. What was the bookcase about? It's gonna bug me. All right. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. Yes. Uh, you ever hear of Atlantis, random old man? Um, probably just ask where the guy lives. What are you doing here in the streets? Yeah, just ask you know where, where the guy Omar lives. Omar Al-Jabbar lives. Omar is one of my best customers. Alas, his address is known to few men. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Just a weird, stupid question. How's business? Well, let's go down this path. I've seen worse. Great. You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis. Hmm, Atlantis. Hmm. No. Cool. Now, let me get back to work, please. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Oh, this guy. Okay. Uh, path back to the airport. No thanks. You're exploring Algiers. I'm not going to try to talk to anyone wondering about it, I don't think. There's- oh, I thought that was a camel. There's a row of pots. I can walk back there to- oh, and this is- I'm not going out there unless I absolutely have to. Okay, back alley it is. Weird preference, but let's go for it. <laughs> Excuse me. How can I help you with Indy? Effendi is a, is a new um a new term for me, so you'll have to let me know if that's like an actual common like. I say Algerian. Algiers is in Morocco, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna look this one up. Oh, my phone's not here. I'll look this one up later. <laughs> um, are you Omar? Are you maybe Omar? You mean Mr. Al Jabbar? Yes. <laughs> that is an also good one, Effendi. I'm his trusted servant, Paul. Paul oh. Abdul. Cool. Oh, Paul Abdul. Can you arrange a meeting with Mr. Al-Jabbar? I suppose I could, Effendi, but my master rarely deals with clients in person. Why should I bother him? I don't know if you know. I'm Indiana Jones. I've got a hot tip on some stolen artifacts. So do half the people in Algiers. You'll have to give me a better reason than that. 
Um, Excuse me. What did I might know? just show him the lost book. I need to look at the lost book of Plato and see if I can't like. How much of those pots? Look at it more. If you must ask, you can't afford them. I'm looking for Atlantis. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for the information. <laughs> I, 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 I click on the. Yeah, okay, I can click on those. I, I think I thought that I tried before, but I couldn't. So let's do that now. Um, let's have some reading time, friends. Democrates. In shame, I hereby do recant the time and place whereof Critias spoke, and rendering Egyptian into Greek, he made a tenfold error. Instead of lying 3,000 miles hence, Atlantis may well have been 30,000 miles away, or perhaps it was less than 300 miles from our own shores. Likewise, it may be that the lost kingdom held sway as many as 100,000 years ago, or as few as 1,000. If a kingdom arose on earth beyond anywhere men might travel, then we would never hear of it. We ought to accept the lesser figure. So glorious Atlantis founded two colonies, the lesser 260 miles northwest of the city and the greater 550 miles away southeast. The gates of the kingdom opened only with the aid of special stones. At many outposts, a sunstone sufficed if morning light warmed the tall horns. At the greater colony, a moonstone was also needed, with the darkest night healed by the full moon. To approach Atlantis itself, a world stone, that's the one that the Nazis have, was required as well. Um, with the full moon full of beauty, unrivaled light lighting the city. The final entrance yielded only to contrary minds, and it is said that dwellers in Atlantis had no horses nor any need of them. What is going with sounds like business? I'm gonna skip. <laughs> okay, maybe I, I, I suppose, yes, I have skipped forward in the book then. It said that dwellers in Atlantis had no horses nor any need of them, or a column, the metal that glittered like fire, this they had instead. They cast it into shiny beads and used them as we do minted coins, paying statues to do their work as if by magic. When their colonies were failing, wise men carved strange devices out of amber to search for the metal, but only proud Atlantis ever yielded a supply. I just realized while reading this, by the way, the, realize, the, the reason that the mayonnaise worked with the totem pole is because I couldn't pull it, which I think I tried doing before, and then it's like, no, the floor should be more slippery or something. So putting the mayonnaise on the floor made it slippery enough so I could pull it out to climb up. That's why the motor oil worked with the totem pole. I was thinking when they were saying that they were using um, statues, I kind of started thinking back to that again. But, um... No, it's like the small statues that did a little worrying about that they're like, we could make bombs. Anyway, Socrates says, you have called the kingdom wealthy, but surely this is absurd. And the next, as the waters rose around their city, the kings of Atlantis, one after another, sought to hold off fate. Knowing mortal men would never rule the sea, they planned a huge colossus, which by use of aura column, ten beads at a time, would make them like the gods themselves. Nurapsal was one such king. He it was, say the wise men of Egypt, who first put men in the Colossus, making many freaks of nature at times when the celestial spheres were well aligned. This I doubt. We are hearing a child's tale. We're going to meet a Colossus. Bet. Okay, so let's... Ah, he walked close to me. Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. I'm not interested in fake books, if any. Hmm. Um, do you want the wax cat? Wait, stop walking Excuse so close me. to me. Yes? I think this may interest you. I'm not interested, Effendi. Excuse me. This is my last try. Yes? I think this may interest you. I'm not interested, Effendi. Okay, there's a bright purple thing that looks fun. It all looks pretty worthless. Big pots. <laughs> I love Indy. Pots. <laughs> He's my favorite. I want all point and click commentary to be exactly like this and not no different. It says drink Elliot's rose water in Arabic. I can read Arabic. That's fun. Let me just see if I can't pick up anything. I don't need any more worthless junk. Pick up big pot. Pick up pot. I don't need them. They're just pots. Okay, that is that store. Do I, do I see fit to go to the city streets yet, Indy? I'm not going out there unless I absolutely have to. 
I wander around a little bit more, make sure that I've kind of tackled most locations, if not all locations that are available to me as of yet. Oh, city streets that way too. I'm not going out there. I'm not going out there unless I absolutely have to. Absolutely. I'll probably go to Monte Carlo, next, Monte Carlo next, but I think I'm going to wrap it up here. So thanks again for watching. I'll probably record two in a row. So the comments that you have on this video, I will not see by the time that I play the next one. Um, feel free to leave them. <laughs> I'll still read them and like them and enjoy them and then comment that I either have already figured it out or that I have already gone past the point of no return. <laughs> so... But I don't think you can mess things up too bad in this game. Although I could have put that wax cat in the freaking furnace and I wonder if I would have had it now. That feels like something that could have gone wrong. Anyways, thanks again and I'll see you next time. Bye. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases.